Pro Stars Gamers, welcome back to a brand new video. And inside today's video, we're going to be doing the SAS tier list. Let's get right into this. Okay, guys, let's actually get serious here. Let's do the SAS tier list. I've been making this tier list for the past three days. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I've been in OJF and Bandits for like a year in total. And in that time, you're probably going to see a lot of weird people in there. And you're right, I did see a whole bunch of weird people. And that's why I made this tier list. I've seen a bunch of weird people in this time. All these people have some sort of weird stuff in them, but sometimes you, they can be cool. That's why I have the chats. And cool is for people who are, who are like, they don't really have any sus things in them, they're really cool. Semi-sus. Semi-sus is when you have, like, they're not that sus, but they have something in them that's blocking them from being in the cool. You have sus, which is just straight up sus. And you have mega sus, where like their susness goes over the roof. And you have sus kings, where their sus is, it just takes over their body. They're just sus now. They're not even a person. And they're, they're just as kings of sus. It makes total sense, right? Right. Now let's start off. First off, we have DJ Someone. DJ Someone. I've known him. I've known him since like. August, ever since Moon Gang was created, he was one of the first people to join. And at first, he was kind of sus. He posted some like kind of sus pictures. He, he, his his personality obviously was kind of bland. And be like, sorry to hurt your feelings, DJ, but it was kind of bland when I first met you. But then over time, uh, over time, when Moon Gang was when Moon Gang was rising, and then the fall of Moon Gang, and now Sun Gang. After all those months, he has shown better personality, and also he's he's got a place in my heart where I can always store him and I can always count on him to be the cool guy. That's why he goes in Chad. Up next we have Sauce. Now Sauce, I have not really um, known him for a long time. Like I haven't really known him like at all. I just put him on here because Gakari. I mean, Gakari just made the idea to put on put him on here. I don't even know why I'm putting him here, but I did. I can't go back. So, I'm just going to go put him in the semi sus. I don't really know if he's sus or not, so don't judge me. Up next, we have Ice. Now, Ice is pretty sus, not going to lie. Ice just acts like a weird-ass dude. When you get to know him, he has some kind of sus conversations. I can't really explain them because, you know, I don't really have a good memory. I have, like, the worst memory in the whole entire universe. So, um... I just can't explain. I'm just going to put the sus. Don't question it. Up next, we have my boy, Wrath, a.k.a. Daybreak. Now, Wrath, he's, he's been he's been with me for, all, for, at least like in, for at least until like July. I've known him. At, at first, I first met him when he was giving his rants about the meta in the, the Bandits chat. I was going on talking about him. We're having side conversations. We're playing the new... And then we're putting the moon face emote, putting the sun face emote, the moon, everything moon. We had a good time in talking. And then we used moon so much, we were like, hey, let's make moon gang. I made moon, he made moon gang, and I was one of the first people to join other than Akari, which was the second. It's kind of sad, but I'm third. So I count, I count myself. And, after, and in moon gang, I got to know him a lot more, and he's a pretty chill dude. Sometimes he's he acts kind of sus, not gonna lie. Like, but overall, he's pretty cool. If you guys know him, you can have long talks with him, talk about different stuff, and like he's pretty chill. Chad, you go. Up next, we have Strike Force Saw. Yeah, you know where this is gonna go. Strike Force Saw can go in the fucking trash can, dude. This guy is. Like this part, this guy's probably like what, one of the worst people I've ever met. First of all, he's fucking I think 13, 13 years old. I don't even I don't, I don't even want to talk to him because he's fucking 13. He's just a fucking he's just a fucking young ass kid who's always screaming, talking about Fortnite. He doesn't really talk about Fortnite, just to talk about average 13 year old, and he just gets on my nerves all the time. And he's one of the persons who made the hot shits game. AKA the Hot Springs Gang, but I don't even want to say that name because it is abandoned in my mind. I don't want to think about it ever again. So, Strike Force Saw, the worst person you can ever see. 
a YouTuber, son of a YouTuber who just sucks his fucking dad dick. And fucking just, just sucks him off, gains views. His videos are terrible. He's a, like the, he's a trash player. I mean, it kind of makes sense because he's his son. He tried, he doesn't like Brawl Stars. He, he probably got forced into Brawl Stars, honestly, which is kind of sad. But you hate to see it go. And he, he and on, on Discord, he acts up. Totally different person. It's like the worst person. He talks about fucking anime. I don't even really like anime, even though I'm Asian. But don't ask me why I don't like anime if I'm Asian. That's just a stereotype, you fucking stupids. And I've been, okay, I've been going on a long time. I'm just, I'm just this one guy. I just I think I shot on, him, shot on him enough for me to put him in the Sus Kings. No questions asked. Ugh, that really hurt my fucking breath. Up next, we have... Popcorn and popcorn, popcorn herself isn't really sus, but it's the people around popcorn that makes her sus because everybody fucking simps on this person. My God, man, people be sipping on this fucking thirteen-year-old and then they're sixteen. I don't even know if that's a pedophile. Is that is that fucking rape? I don't even know. Is it everyone's just simping on her, especially Big D's nuts? We're gonna be talking about later. So, this whole, so, popcorn herself, I wouldn't count her as sus, maybe a little bit, but the people, just, but the people around her just make her sus. So, sus you go. Up next, we have Stefan Ultimate, or as he likes to be called by now, Stufin Ultimate. And Stufin, he's one of the OG people I've ever, uh, he's one of the OG people um, that I've ever met, like one of the first people I've ever met in Bandits. He was the one who always said, who, who is who's basically the second person who would always say, oh, all the time. Like, every time you see him, he says, oh, 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 just like a Jeff. We'll get to Jeff later. Oh, oh, and he also puts periods on top. You can see a trend on here. Like, he, like, he kind of acts sus, but once you get to know him, actually, once you get to know him, he's also kind of sus, too. But I wouldn't really call him super sus. I would call him just a little bit sus. It does get annoying, but, like, he, I can handle it. So I'm just going to sound sus. Up next, we have Buttercup. Now, Buttercup, there's a lot of tension. There's like a lot of people who could say Buttercup is the worst. Buttercup is the best. Buttercup is okay. There's a lot of people who say that. But in my opinion, I think Buttercup is a good person. You know why? Because once you get to know her, she is, she is pretty. She is a pretty nice person. It, it, once you once you get to know her, she's chill. She's cool. She's cool. Um, she's cool. Like she could take jokes. And I don't really know what to say. No, and okay, and I know what you're saying. No, I'm not a simp for Buttercup. That's gross. You guys should go leave if you think I'm, if you think I'm simping for Buttercup. But no, I just think she's a cool person. I never really had any tensions with her, except if you're a car, you'd probably put her in the sus kings or sus queens since she's a woman. But in my opinion, she's not really that sus at all. I'm gonna put in the cool. Up next we have Bean, and Bean is a uh, Bean is a kind of um, mixed bag. He sometimes he's sus, and other times he's pretty cool. But most of the part, he's he's not that bad. I I wouldn't really call him sus. I think he's a pretty cool person. But if this was the old Bean, however, who says Ock oh, Jeff Nub Oh Nub Nub, I'd put him in the sus. But he's changed over time, so he goes in the cool. Up next, we have Fernicus. Fernicus, an OG person of the bandits. One of my longtime friends who I've ever, I've ever met. And he's a real, he's a pretty cool dude. He's got good memes, he's got pretty good personality. He's pretty chill. You can always count on him to, you can always count on him to carry you in Brawl Ball. Yes, he carries me in Brawl Ball too. He carries me in Brawl Stars, even though I don't play him with them that much. But when I play with him, we have a good time. But, um, yeah. So you're probably wondering. Yes, he go. He has every positive thing you can think of. Yes, of course. Well, but does he go in chats? But there's this. There's like this one thing that kind. That's kind of weird about him. That makes me not want to put him in chats. That's because he posts some pretty, pretty, pretty sus pictures. Not gonna lie. He posts things such as porn. Posts things such as killing people. He posts some over-the-top weird shit 
and that that kind of blocks him from being the Chad. But but like that's just one thing. The sus pictures, not not really anything else. So it doesn't really affect him that much. So I just need to think. Should I put in the cooler chats? Cooler chats. You know what? Okay, so he's gonna some cool chats. I'll put him in the. I'll put him in the cool for now. Sorry for any kids if you're watching this, but it's just it's just how it is. I'm just, like you're a really, you're a really cool guy, but this is based off susness, and sus and susness gotta go. Got to go out of the chat, so kind of suspect. Also, really cool, so it kind of mixes it out. At least not, at least not up here with Strike Force Soft. That's that's like the worst of the worst. If you're up there with him, you're basically like the most sus person I've ever seen in my entire life. Up next, we have Ricochet Nitro God. More like me, Ricochet Nitro Nub. What the fuck? Okay, first of all, if you look at his profile, he has a rank 27 Rico. That's all you. That's all you gotta see. That this guy's not a fucking ricochet god. This guy's a ricochet nub. Only rank twenty seven. He can even fucking Akari can get rank twenty nine, and he he's and look, look, not gonna lie, he's kind of shit at the game. He kind of throws, but that's besides the point. He also okay. Other than the rico stuff, if you look at him on Discord, he's also pretty fucking sus. If you ask me, he's he has friends with this guy named Raft, not Raft. Raft with an FT, and this guy is, this, we'll get to him later, but right now, okay, but he sucks on his dick on the daily 24-7, like, it's nothing. This, and he just shits on people whenever Raft shits on people. He's basically his robot slave, and that's kind of sus, if you ask me. So, as, and I'll, and he, he's basically just do whatever Raft says. That's that's basically a robot. He's basically a ricochet. He's basically a sus guy. Kind of sus kings. He deserves it. Just go away. I don't want to see you ever again. Which I don't, which is good. Up next, we have High General. Now, High General, I haven't really known him that much. But, but, but overall, actually, I haven't really known him that much. I can't really give my good opinion. So, um, so, like, I don't know if he, he's... Is he sus? Well, one time, um, I can't really say if he's sus or not. Like, he is pretty bad at the game. He's pretty paid to win, like, OPC bears. We'll get him to a bit. So, I would say he's, I would say, if he, this is a trash tier list, he's probably at the bottom, because he's, like, he's basically a pay to win nub. So, I would just put him in the semi-sus for that, because he's, he's, like, just don't pay, just don't dump money on a game that you're not going to be good at, because you're not really going to have a good time playing. Up next is the fuck? I don't remember putting this here. I'll put this on the bottom. Okay, let's skip that. Let's just pretend that wasn't there. Up next we have is Squash. Now Squash is basically a pizza 2.0. We'll get into pizza in a second. I don't even know why I'm foreshadowing this on every person I say. Pete, he's basically, he's basically pizza. Um, he is, he's not that bad if you want to go to know him. He's kind of like a Jeff too. He says O's and Ox all the time. And also he has those Puts those eyes emotes all the time. It's kind of weird. But one, uh, you know, he's not that bad. But the only reason, but the only reason, uh, but the only bad side about him is he joined the worst fucking gang in the history of Brawl Stars. And that's the Hot Springs gang, aka the Hot Shits gang. That guy, that gang is like the worst gang in Brawl Stars history, no questions asked. So just because he joined that, I'll put him in the semi sus. You're probably thinking he joined the worst gang ever. He should go be in the sus kings or sus or mega sus. But that's just one thing. Other things are just not that bad. I would put him in the sus. I'm not gonna lie. Does he do it? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him. I don't care. Up next we have, oh boy, you know who we're gonna pick today? The trashed raft. Yes, he used to be named Trash Rap, which he is fucking trash. And this guy is super fucking sus. You know why? Because on Discord, ever since that rivalry between Moon Gang and Hot Shits Gang, he's been going all out on that even when it ended. When it ended, he still tried to take us down even when we had kind of like a truce. We hadn't talked to each other in months. 
I thought we had peace, but then ever since the first, the, the, the New Year's of January 1st, him and Rico Shainub have been trashing on Moon Gang at that because Akari was catfishing. We'll get to a catfishing part later of Akari and Akari. But he just kept trashing on us, trashing on us, trashing on us for no apparent reason. The most shittiest reason. This guy sucks. This guy needs to go. This guy needs a therapist. This guy needs to fucking leave. This guy needs to end himself. This guy needs to go in the Sus Kings. And that's where he's going to stay. The Sus King because he's fucking sus. <sighs> Up next we have is Murder Buddy, a.k.a. Red Rim. Another OG guy of the Bandit server. I think this is... This is the most OG out of everybody because I've been with him ever since May of 2019. That's when Scrappy Bandage was made and that's when I first met him there. And we talked on Discord. We made some, we had some good times. It was fun. We had good laughs. But ever since he joined Moon Gang, that all kind of changed away. Eh. Like he's been acting way weirder and ever since this guy named Zol joined. Actually, I don't even know why I put Zol. Zol's probably... So it could have been in here. Zol. Ever since he's been with Zol, he basically he basically act totally different. He act more sus, and Zol basically acted like another red rum. There's like two red rums. Holy shit, two red rums. That is kind of sus, not gonna lie. That is pretty sus. But yet again, that is only one thing. Other than that, he's not that bad. But when you get to his sus side, he's kind of sus. So I'm playing the medic semi sus for now. Okay, mega sus plus something else. Speaking of mega sus, Lyman. Now Lyman is like, okay, let me get this straight. He is the biggest simp you can ever meet. You know why? Because every time, every time there'd be a girl in a conversation. Oh, I have a sister. And I'm, Lyman's going to be going out of nowhere saying, Sister, how old is she? I want to date her. I want to stick my meat stick up her ass. I want to fucking, I want to fuck, fucking eat her ass. I eat her pussy. That, if that doesn't say sus to you, then I don't even know what you're thinking. That says sus to me. You know, that also says mega sus. That can go in there. He could be in the sus kings, but... I don't even know. I'm probably gonna think of that later. He could be runner up sus kid. Up next is Silent. And you know, Silent, the ironic thing about this guy, about his name, is that he can't shut the fuck up. Because every time you talk to him in Leaf Leads, you'd all be like, oh, I am the OG vice president of Leaf. Therefore, I should be, you should be obeying me at all the times. You should be listening to me. You should be doing everything for me. And like, bitch, shut the fuck up, dude. You are fucking trash. You don't even do your job. You're vice president. You've only been here. For, I know you've been here for like at least like a year in OGF. But that does not mean that we should listen to a trash guy like you all the time who does nothing in OJF. He just... He just wants to look cool, even though he's not cool. He basically lo looks like an idiot. So yeah, th that screams sus. You know what that screams? Mega sus. Mega sus, silent, equal, everything is perfectly balanced as all things should be. Next is Hobbs. Hobbs the OP Doggo Pago. And I can say a lot of things about this guy. This guy, first of all, this guy has the best YouTube channel and best Brawl Stars YouTube channel ever. And if you don't think that, you should just get the hell out of here because your opinion does not matter. He has the best Brawl Stars content. First of all, it's not clickbait. Second of all, it's not cringy. <coughs> Carlos. <coughs> and third of all, it's a uh, of all, it's pretty simple. There's not like no overwrites, there's no filler. Everything gets straight to the point. And the thumbnails are the best part. But it's so goodly drawn, I can look at it all day. That screams Chad. He's a Chad in my heart. First and also next, he has a he has a dog for a profile picture. Who does not like dogs? Dogs are the best. Up next we have Koi Drez. And Koi Drez, I don't really know a lot about this guy. But ever since he became a senior, he isn't he has been pretty good at his job. 
he has no sus things. He doesn't talk about sus stuff. Ever since he got senior, he hasn't been all power hungry. He hasn't had an ego boost. He's been the same ever since he got senior. And every other senior that has been, every other people that has been promoted by to senior has changed a lot. But this guy has changed, has stayed the same, which is really good. I like to see that. I like to see that leadership in him. I like to see that he's not sus. And overall, he's a pretty cool guy once you get to know him. And yeah, no susness in him. No big ego boost in him. He goes in the cool guys. Up next, we have Pekka Pancake. Or I like to call, call him Pepega Pancake. Now, Pekka Pancake is, has, also been, has also been promoted to senior in Orange Leaf. But man, oh man, once he got promoted, his ego boosted by 3 million percent. He's been acting kind of sus lately. He basically acts like a stoofin, which we'll get to. Do we get a stoofin? No, oh, okay. We got a stoofin. He basically acts like a stoofin, if you think about it. He doesn't say the O's or anything, but he just kind of acts like one. Kind of acts sus. Like when you're not around, pings are in the people. It's just kind of weird. But, yes. Been sus, semi sus. Uh, I'm going to sus. Up next we have NZ Pekka. Another person named Pekka. What do you know? Pekka is such a popular name. We should all be named Pekka. 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 It's that Patrick. That sounds like a good name. Okay. Other than that. Peck NZ Pekka. Hmm. Hmm. This guy is going into the mega sus. And you know why? He is... A fucking depressed boy 24-7 even though he's 13 he's probably going through puberty and like there's no excuse to be a suicidal thoughts like in the, like once he get once he talked to him he says oh, I have depression I, I want to kill myself I want to die I want to die like, shut the fuck up dude you're, you're making everything worse you're making everything more annoying for everybody you're just you're just making a big you just attention whore and that's what, and that's why it should be mega sus. You're just an attention whore. Okay, next up we have Easy A four twenty. Yes, Easy A four twenty instead of four two. Honestly, he should change his name to that. But other than that, Easy A four o two. All I gotta say to him is he's the best bandit staff you could ever talk to. You know why? Even though he does act kind of sus, you can always rely on him because he always comes to you whenever you need assistance. He understands you. He's not one-sided, which I hate about every band staff. They're always one-sided. He looks at the other side. It's pretty chill. And he's like a, a nice guy, a chill guy, when you get to know him. That, that screams Chad. Good. Almighty Zeus is next. And Zeus, I, don't, I haven't really known him that, long, that much, even though I was in belief with him for like about four months. He's the vice president. But, you know, like, I haven't known him. He probably should go into semi sus because I don't know him. But he is one of the most lazy. He is another lazy vice president that doesn't do anything anymore for Leaf. Even though right now Leaf is kind of dying because every, basically every vice president left. And the, it's just going downhill ever since the thing we're going to talk about later. About some certain person. <coughs> Nico. <coughs> okay, what are we saying? Okay, so he's just a lazy vice president. He doesn't do anything. He just, whatever. You know what? Well, I'm just going to put him in semi sus. That's, he's just, he's a really lazy vice president. I, I, sh I really want him. I really want to like him, but he, he just doesn't exceed my expectations. Up next, we have Infernos. And Infernos, he's base. He's, he's just really sus. Like every time you talk to him, he always, every time you talk to him, he always just wanted, he just always wanted to bring sus everywhere. He just does weird stuff. Also, he does weird stuff with NZ Pekka, so that also makes him really sus. Uh, and he's just like an overall weird ass dude. He just exaggerates. Just goes sus already. Uh, up next, we have Fang, and Fang is um, Fang is a pretty normal dude if you think about it, and he's a pretty cool dude. He's been um, he's been with me ever since he was a Leaf Vice President, but then after that, he transferred the root. It's kind of sad because it barely went in Leaf and he's already left and he already left the root and I don't even want to transfer the root. So, but other than that, I've talked to him. 
Um, he's uh, he's a chill guy. He he talks about anime a lot, which I don't really I'm not really interested in that. But I would just say he's uh, not that bad. He's no, there's no sus in him. He's kind of neutral. Okay, let's ignore that. Um, up next we have banana. Banana, banana, banana. You know where this is going. Go into the sus kings you go. You deserve it. You know why? Because this guy is so annoying. He rants every day, 24-7, about the most useless shit I've ever seen. He rants, he rants about not being vice president. It's like, oh, I'm not being vice president. You, Dude, I deserve it. Not this Thanos guy. Dude, this guy is fucking... He's a super villain. I should get vice president because... I was in root longer than him, and I, I like I should just get everything up. Big, shut the fuck up! You don't need that. Obviously, you're just a fucking another attention whore like NZ Pekka. You're just trying to get attention. You're just trying to get everyone to feel sympathy sympathy for you, even though you should not get any because you're stupid as shit. So I do not think you should argue. With stupid luff, stupid facts that you stated that are good, which are not good, they're pretty trash. If this is a monkey tier list, you go on monkey tier list too, but you're also on Susking, so it's just as bad. Up next, we have Blitz Battler. And Blitz Battler, there's not a lot to say about him, other than the fact that he it, he does, he is power hungry. He's kind of like Bandit Staff, where Bandit Staff is kind of power hungry, they just do whatever they want. They just go whatever they want. They mute whenever they want. They just, they're just power hungry. And this guy's also kind of power hungry. He's, he just, he had a lot of fights. He was in a drama that happened like a, a month ago, I think. And like he shared DMs. He, he's just overall sus. He's friends with sus people. So he just stays in the sus. Up next we have K Dot. K Dot. Now K Dot is pretty sus. I'm not going to lie. Because he's basically another, he's a lazy ass senior. He does nothing ever since he got promoted. He did nothing. I seen him in in the leaf chat. He didn't do anything. Whenever there was someone, there was someone inactive. He would do nothing. He'd be on Discord all day talking to weird people about weird things. As profile pictures, kind of weird. Not gonna lie. Even though it's Patrick's thick ass, I know that's pretty good. But like. Patrick uh, does not approve of Patrick's thick ass. Not gonna lie. So, go into the sus tier list, you lazy bum. Up next, we have Big D's nuts. It's Big D's nuts. Okay, so D, D. I also haven't really known him that much, but he was a big, big factor of the drama that happened a month ago. The Proko's recluse. He was uh, like one of the first person to start it. He was a re he started a rebellion. He wanted to make a new club. He wanted to shit on everybody. No JF because he didn't because one of his friends didn't get the legend role, the legend twenty seven role. They ne they never got, and that was all just like pretty useless shit. And yeah, he just goes into the sus, this fighting for something for no reason. Honestly, that's like pretty sad. Up next we have pizza. Pizza, one of my. One of my best friends I've ever met. One of one of the first friends I've ever met in Bandits. He's a really he he's a really, honestly Patrick approves of his friendship. He's a really cool guy. He likes memes. He 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 likes to be sus with me, but in the good way. He like we we play pranks on people. We make jokes. We do everything. We listen to meme songs. We listened to a bunch ever since I was in Bandits. It was a good time. Best. Best times. Best times. Also, he's a BJ god, so he bas he's basically a god himself. He's a Chad. Up next, we have Subba Wubba. Subba Wubba is another vice president that has been inactive in LEAF ever since. I don't even know how long because I wasn't in LEAF that long. I was in only like three months. So Sebawaba is just a very inactive president. Um, he does nothing. He's basically like a silent, except he doesn't talk that much. He just talk. He just talks here and there. But every, whenever he talks, he just talks about weird stuff, sus stuff. He's a sus overall. So you go in the sus, right there. Up next we have that goo Jeff. That goo Jeff. That guy Jeff. 
There's a lot to talk about this guy. First of all, he's the one who started the O's, Ox, Bend Ups, Chains, the weird ass things. And also whenever you talk about him, he makes your mom jokes. Your mom jokes are kind of dead right now. So coronavirus outbreak. So get some new material guy. You're basically like a, a, a dad comedian. You make dad jokes. You're, you're like a weird ass comedian. You you make some really sus jokes. You talk about moms and penis and eggplants and bananas and whatever. You got a sus kings over there for your weird ass jokes. I'm um, next up, Eddie. I didn't another person that I never really, never really have talked to. But I just put him in here for no reason. I don't even know why. I think my car, he suggested it. But, um, he, but the only thing sus about him, he's one of the few people who started the useless drama. He gave the person that was, started the drama, named, this person named Raz. I don't even know why I put him on here. I didn't put him on here, but I just didn't want to put him on here. He gave the person the legend role, and then Panos, we'll get to Panos later, Panos was furious that this this guy named Raz got a free Legend 27 role, a free League of Legends battle pass, a free pass, and Panos couldn't stand a chance, I mean, couldn't stand it, so he stood up for himself, and he said, that was wrong, you should go pay him, you should go give it back, you don't deserve this shit, and I agree, he didn't deserve it, because it's basically a free Legend 27 role. Who does not feel like a free Legend 27 role? So that's the, like, the only sus thing about him. Anything else? Yeah. Semi-sus. I'll keep that here. Scar-faced game. Scar-faced game. This guy. He's a fucking loser. This guy fucking brags about he's the best Carl I've ever seen. Oh, I am good. You are bad. You are the trash. I'm better than you. Like, holy shit! Can you shut your mouth up? I do not want to hear about your ego. You can go get your ego out of here. I don't even want to see your face. You're so stupid. He brags about everything, and also he's friends with sus people. So that's another sus thing. He just brags about the most stupid shit I've ever seen. So you just go into the sus ego. Maybe mega sus. You go mega sus. I don't like you that much. I know two sus changes in a row. Spy chicken. Spy chicken. There's a lot to talk about. Or like some. First of all, he uh, like before he was a okay guy, but the but I but I really did not like how he always says boom bandits op. You should join. You should poach. You should go join boom bandits. You should. Stay in this club, no other club, go join Boom Bandits. Like, shut the fuck up, nobody cares about your lame ass shit club. This is, like, nobody cares, like, if they really want to join it, then, then they can join it, but, like, don't poach them. That's not, that's not really how it works. If they don't like the, if they really like the club, they'll join it, yeah, I'm fine. But when you just force them to join it, that takes it to another sus level. Also, the, another thing he's sus about is he's basically like he basically joins the robot stuff with Rico and Raft, like I said earlier. He basically follows Raft, he talks about Raft, he shits on anybody who Raft shits on. He basically but Raft is basically Stalin. Stalin is the dictator and these guys are Stalin's Stalin's military force. They will shut and shit on everybody who, who Stalin, aka Raft, will shit on. So that also makes him the sus. Should I put in the sus kings and mega sus? Sus Kings, you go. Go, go, go with the Sus Kings. Up next, we have Nico. Nico. Nico is... Honestly, I've never really met Nico before. I've never really seen him. But the only Sus thing... And th this this actually counts as a lot. One of the things that he did actually made it worse. The situation was He demoted Akari, the most active vice president in LEAF. I had to demote him because Scott, the sick Scott ass, told him to because of his catfish stuff. And that is the most stupid reason I've ever seen because, one, catfishing does not apply to leadership. You can catfish all you want, but if you're a good leader, I'm fine. But he just he just, just, he just demoted him because it's catfishery. And that is stupid. What does catfish have to do with this? This is an epic. This is so sad. Alexa played Despacito 4. Not Despacito 3 or 2. Despacito 4. This is so sad. You have to get Despacito 4 out here. This is so sad. This, uh, this made 
And this is the reason why Leaf died, because Akari, the most active person, uh, basically the president of the club, got demoted just because of his catfishery. Going to sus. I don't like it. Up next, we have we, we got Akari. Kind of weird. Akari. Akari is basically like my probably my number one friend. Probably tied with Fern and Kiss. I don't know. They're both good. But Akari, you, since he's my friend, you think he'd go into Chad's, right? Well, you're obviously wrong because because out of this, out of all the things, this car's cool, but. He is probably like the most sus person you could ever meet in the entire entirety of the world. Like ever, any if you get to know him, he talks about raping you. He wants to fuck you. He wants to destroy niggers. He wants to whatever. He wants to I don't know. He just says says a lot of sus stuff, and he's just obviously just mega sus. Go in there. That's all I gotta say. I'm sorry, Akari, but it's the truth. And I think you already know this. I think you, honestly, if I was you, I wouldn't be surprised because you're pretty sus. Next up, we have Coop. Coop, Coop, um, a long, like, not a really long time friend. Uh, like a, a good time friend, I'd say like four months ever since because a card brought him to Moon Gang. Ever, ever since I talked to him, he's a pretty cool dude. He looks like he has, he has to mess around a lot. Uh, he's just like cool in general. I, I don't like I don't like deeply know him, but I just know him, and he's like he's not that bad of a dude. No, no, de- no, like thing I would not like. I don't really like that much about him is the head is how he really likes his hentai, and he always wants it every time there's there's a conversation about it. He he just really likes his hentai anime, which is kind of sus. But overall, he's kind of, he's a pretty cool, dude. I think I should put him the cool. Chads, I'll put him in the cool. You're you're a good guy, but like the anime kind of blocks it off the chads. Up next we have is Crimson, and Crimson um Crimson basically acts like a coop, except a little bit different. Like he likes the anime. I don't even know. He probably watches head tie honestly. He he likes his anime. Um, but but I have the anime. He's not that bad. He like I like his jokes. I like his susness. I like. Well, not the good sus, but then um, I like sus is like his personality. I, I don't really talk to him that much because he's European. So whenever he's awake, I'm asleep. So that's kind of a bummer. So I don't really know him that much, but overall, he's kind of a cool guy. Up next, we have Mr. Dell. Mr. Dell, another inactive vice president that has been in LEAF for a long time. And honestly, he basically goes with the other inactive vice president. He doesn't really do anything. Um, he gets his other stuff. People do his work for him, and just in general, it's not. It doesn't make up for a good, good profile for him. So he goes to the sus. Next up, we have Splix, aka Simp. Oh, okay. I'll stop with the simp. Okay, simple. I don't really know him that much, but he was. He joined Poco's Recluse, which Poco's Recluse is a pretty sus club. Not gonna lie. So just because of that, I'm gonna go put him in the some semi sus. That's really the only reason. Next, next up we have Whistly, aka Patrick, aka the meme man. One of the first people. This this guy is basically before Furnicus. This guy was basically Furnicus when I met him, except he didn't have the the pictures and stuff. This guy. He can get a lot of a lot of good stuff about this guy. He likes he's good with memes. He likes good meme music. He always likes to make fun of people. He likes jokes. And first of all, he is my patch. He is my Whistly. Like he is he is like he is Patrick. If you don't get the joke, then I'm sorry. This is way too big brain of a joke for you. And also, his profile picture is epic. How can you not like a realistic Patrick? It's kind of sus, but like it's cool. It's the cool sus. It shows his inner Patrick in him, and I and I show my inner Whistly in him. But he had, but the bummer side is he hasn't shown up a lot because he has school, and he just can't go on Discord. I can't really talk to him, so that's a really big bummer. He he stays in my heart. He stays in my heart. Up next we have Joe Ho. Yes, Joe Ho or Joe Hor. This guy, another, an I wouldn't say inactive vice president. I would say he's sort of active. But in general, he's just sus. Every time you go talk to him, he talks about gay stuff. He wants to suck your penis. 
It wants to touch you. It wants to rip your balls off. It wants to cook, cook a ball and touch. Ball and cock torture. Just like, he's talking about the sus stuff every time you leave my, especially in a private chat. Private chat, he just goes off on sus. He's basically an Akari 2.0. So, mega sus you go. Up next we have... Uh, up next we have Scott. Scott has done some really bad decisions in the last few weeks. You know how I said Scott demoted Akari just because of his catfishery? Well, he did it for no reason. Especially because he said... He'll deal with the outside dev stuff disc, um, Discord. Well, you know what? He brought that outside stuff back into Brawl Stars in the Leaf Club Club. I can't fucking say. I can't fucking speak right now. He said things in the Leaf Club chat. He he does not like Akari. He demoted him just because of catfishery, even though it does not do anything for leadership. It just shows you that you're a shit person. And he just he's, he just made the, the worst decision ever. He goes and mega sus. Next up we have Panos or Thanos, because it's basically the same thing. Panos, uh, I don't really know him that much, but honestly, he seems like a cool guy. Especially the profile picture. It looks pretty nice. He has a nice face. If you're watching this, if you're watching this Thanos or Panos, you have a nice face. So I uh, but uh, I don't have the nice out of the face. Um he, he's not that bad of a guy. He stands up for himself. He he makes decisions on himself. He's a good president, a vice president. He just he's good all on himself. He has he has good traits. He's a cool guy. Up next we have Days Visal. One of the first people I've ever met in Bandits, and he was all right, but but you know he's kind of a weird guy. Mostly because he's really young. He's basically an NC but Pekka, except he's not suicidal. He just kind of. Has some sus tensions. I can't really trust him. Like I like I have some stuff where I trust him, but I don't trust him. I have his stuff faults. I uh, I just have this weird this weird relationship with him. He's just he hasn't stick with he hasn't stuck with me ever since I left out of bandits. Up next we have K Woman and K Woman or K Man. He's a pretty sus guy. Not gonna lie, but like. Other times he's not that bad, but over overall he's just really sus. Mostly because he was one of the people who he was one of the people who was in the hot shit gangs and started and one of the other person people who started drama. Not that much, but started he wanted to start a fight with me, and that was really sus. I did not want to fight anybody, and I just really wanted to keep my own business. But he had to he had to jump in and take and like call me out for no reason. He had he just had to call everybody, pinged everybody. He said, "You call Hot Springs Gate trash will come." Well, he and he pinged everybody Hot Springs Gate. Hey, look at everybody! Patrick said he was trash. We need a trash on him. Like, oh, I don't fucking care about your shit. I just want to move on my day. But then he just made the day all weird. So he goes into mega sus. Up next, we have Chief E. Now, Chief E. He's the former president of Scrappy Bandits, my leader. And like before before I left, he was a good guy. He is pretty chill. I talked to him. He he gave me good per he gave me the perms of I wanted, he gave me roles. He's a good guy. But after I left, after I said after he he he, um, he talked to me, hey, um, where'd you go? I said, Orange Leaf. And he was like <sighs> Orange Leaf? Orange Leaf is for trash people. You're a clown. You're a clown for drawing Orange Leaf. You should have stayed in Bandits because it's cooler. And I'm like, the fuck you just said? The fuck you just said? The fuck you said to me, you piece of shit? I don't care, dude. Bandits is the worst, worst subject of the club you could talk about. Because the, your staff does nothing. You guys just power hungry. You act like serious people. Don't check jokes. The clubs are just boring. You do not do anything fun in the clubs. And also, you're just you're just sus. You just you're just sus. You're just sus. Just go in the sus. I don't just just go away. Up next we have OPC Bears. OPC Bears is a uh, questionable guy. Ever since I first met him. 
he was he, he was kind of he was pretty bad player. He's obviously a pay to win guy. It's basically like high general, bad player, pay to win. And yeah, but once you get to know him, he sends a really really such shit like. He sends pictures of nutting and his girlfriend pussy. He talks about how he how he has a girlfriend, has a life, but then honestly, he, he spends so much money on brawl stars it just doesn't add up. You're still you're still kind of sad because he spends so much on a game, even though you're kind of trash at it. And also, there's one time where he was making a joke about carrying Lex and brawl ball and the hot shit games come in and ruin his parade and said. No, that is a lie. Even though it was a joke, they just shot on him, and it, he basically made himself. He, he just basically humiliated, humiliated, humiliated himself for the rest of his life just because he did that. He goes into the no, no, a sus game, mega sus. And next we have is Shadow Shot. Now Shadow Shot, I don't really know him as well, as much, but he was the guy who started. The Poco's Recluse Cup. That's enough to say. That goes to the sus because that club is pretty sus, not going to lie. Go over here. Go to sus. No, nothing else to say. Now next we have Agent Haley. The E-girl of the bunch of the group. The E-girl of everybody. The sus girl. The girl who wants your thought. Who The girl who's a thought. And he wants your penis. And he wants to suck you up. And he wants to. And she, she just goes to after anybody who has a penis. That's that just enough said. Now next we have Sharp Bit. Now, Sharp Bit is one of the worst, one of the worst banded staff you can ever see because he takes things too seriously. He does not like jokes. He trashes on you every, out of every little detail. You have like, you have this, you have, you have this really good meme, but it's not cropped. He goes to show, you are a, a retard just because you didn't crop your meme. You just go away. You delete your, delete your, delete, just delete it. You are the worst person ever just because you didn't do that. Like, that is so, that is so rude. That is rude. That's the only thing, like, you just trashing anybody you see just because you're, just because you're a fucking admin doesn't mean you can do that. That is not okay. You go into mega sus. That is not okay. Even I wouldn't do that. Maybe. I don't really know. Up next we have I Fizzy Soda. Now, I Fizzy Soda. I can't really much say much about him because I don't really know him that much. But all I know is he's an active, an active admin in a, a mod in, I don't even know, in Bandit server. And um, I don't really see him that much. But every time I see him, he's pre he acts pretty sus. He, cause, just because he's with Jeff, he's pretty sus. Up next, we have Blaze. You know where this is going. One of the founders of the Hot Trash Gang is, he, is like... You can expect him to be toxic and the worst person to ever see just because and he shits he shits on anybody he sees ever since ever since Hot Springs Gang was made, ever since Moon Gang was created, he's like, ha ha, join Moon Gang, fuck you bitch, you didn't join ours, so you're a trash person. Like, Shut the fuck up. I don't fucking care about your trash gang. I don't care about whatever you say. I don't care about your lonely dicks. I'm gonna fucking say I don't know. I don't care about it. You just go mind your own business. But he doesn't. He goes after us. He says, why are you here? Oh, it's the moon gang here. Why are you here? You should get out. You should leave. This is our territory. You should go away. But I'm like, bitch, you're a sus king. That's all I got to say. And next we have Timbit. Now, Timbit. It's kind of kind of confusing. You know, he could act like a good guy uh, sometimes. But sometimes he acts really, really gay. Like, honestly. He he just asks like he just asks like the gayest questions like um oh I need help I need help with this and I was like oh you want me to help you <laughs> oh yes help me in bed oh 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 take off your pants though take off your pants get the fucking dildo you gonna shut you know fucking you gonna do that you're gonna like fucking gay ass stuff nigga you're going to sus up next we have is mango now mango. It is also pretty freaking sus. You know why? He basically acts like a Scarface game where he thinks he's good at the game, but he's low key in general. He's just pretty bad. He gets carried by basically any pro, and he just he's basically um he basically brags about oh I carried I carried Jack Chumpo. I I'm basically the best person ever. I'm like 
really? You just really? I don't even believe you. And even if you did, that was only like one game. That's it. Care? Who fucking cares about your bragging rights? Just go. Just go away. Last person we have, because the other person, I don't even know who that person is. Last person we have is Toxic. Toxic. I don't really know about Mash's guy. Uh, other than that, he's he's like just like Timba. He's pretty gay. He always had. He always acts pretty gay. Like with the stuff I just said. The gay, the gay hoo ha's like the gay hoo ha's. If you know what I mean. So other than that, he's pretty sus. And he can act. He can act cool sometimes, but like it doesn't it outweigh that much. And there you go. The sus tier list is finally finished. I don't even know how long that took. That took like probably like fucking 30 minutes. That took way longer than I thought. That could take 20 minutes. But we finally finished the sus tier list. Let's go over it really quick. Sus Kings, Strike Force Saw. We ricochet. We ricochet. I'm just gonna call him ricochet. I'm not gonna say this fully. Ricochet. Raft. Banana. That guy Jeff. Spy Chicken and Blaze. Sus Kings. Last minute changes. No, they still, they still, they really, really deserved it. Mega Sus, Lyman, Silent, NZ Pekka, Scarface Games, Akari, Joko, Scott, K Man, OPC Bears, Sharp Pit, and Mango. Any last questions? No, they, they, they kind of deserved it too. Sus, Ice, Popcorn, Pe Pekka. Infernos, Blitz, uh, I'm kind of, I'm just kind of exhausted right now. Caden Dot, D, Saba Waba, Nico, Mr. Dell, Dezo Vice, Chiefy, you can see how slow I am because I'm just kind of exhausted. Shadow Shot, Agent Haley, um, Fizzy, Timbit, and Toxic. Do I really want to change him? I kind of want to change Pekka. But nah, that's the final. Semi sus, sauce, Stefan, High General, Squash, Red Rum, the, the Almighty Zeus, Eddie, and Splix. Do I want to change you? Nah. Okay, cool. Buttercup, Bean, Fernicus, Cordres, Fang, Coop, Crimson, and Panos. Do I want to change him moving up? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, maybe I want to change Fernicus. Just last minute changes. Thank you. You're welcome, Fernicus. If you're if you're continuing watching this like long ass video, Chad's the best part of the video because that's what you really want to see. Chad's DJ someone Wrath, Hobbs Easy A four hundred two, Pizza Whistly, and lastly Fernicus, which I moved down. This. This is the biggest project I've, this is probably the most high effort video I've, I would ever make in my entire life. And, th and that's really it. I, that's, that's, this is really high effort. This probably took, this took way too long that I make, but it is worth it because it shows, shows my opinion on who's sus and who's not. Now, I'm, th thank you guys so much for watching. I think we're going to end it off here. We'll end off on a note. This is the sus tier list. This is the tier list about who's sus and OGF and bandits and who's cool. And there's a lot of sus people, but there's also some cool people you can meet in there, but the cool people kind of left, honestly. So this is basically, uh, this is basically um, uh, an, a tutorial on if you're gonna join these things, you better, you better look at my tier list and see um, who's sus or not. So that should, that should really tell you on what it's to be. Okay, I've been rambling too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll probably leave a link to this in the description down below to um, to see what you think about this, to see who should you change. Put in the comments to sections below if you agree. And um, yes, and subscribe for more for more of these. I'll probably make more of these. This is pretty fun. This is actually really fun. Like, I, I haven't had this much fun in a long time. This is like, this is pretty good. Pretty good. It got it got all of those stress off my shoulders saying who saying about these guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and I'll catch you later.